What's up, boys and girls? Tweety here. Welcome to another episode of the new Minecraft Adventures of Tweety Seventy Nine on W. Um, I'm here because I got my my villager. Oh man, I'm running low on bones. I didn't even realize. Where's my inner chest? What the heck did I do with my inner chest? What the, what the heck is going on? Alright. Oh, crap. Come on. Alright, I need to finish this this room. Um, and I need to finish, I need to redo this room. I got that portal over there now. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> it's it's all confusing. Uh, this way. There's a ender chest. That's not the one I, I want though. Um, I think I put it in a chest. Put a chest inside a chest. How logical does that sound? Anyway. So here they are. Oop. There we go. Now as you can see, they're doing their thing. Doing what villagers do. Now if we come over here, we can see their, their items are getting spit out. And... And they go up top and, and get sorted. I need a, uh, a reset button on this this thing somewhere. But uh, oop. oh, what the? Why did I do that to myself? I didn't need to do three. Could have just done two. Right. So, how's everybody doing? Hope they're do hope you're doing good. I uh oops, what am I doing? I also have a uh an iron golem farm to show you. Why do I keep doing that? It's not efficient at all. Like, uh, it's gonna take some serious time to get any substantial amount of, uh, of iron from him, but it does work. <laughs> and it's mine. And I came up with the idea, so I'm gonna show you and maybe you can come up with a different approach than I did and make it even better. Maybe. Uh, like I say, it's not... Can I just put these in the hoppers? Uh, whew. There we go. And then... Yeah, good. Give me those. Oh, oh, ah, made it. Okay, so do that. Let's get the heck out of here. It's too noisy. Uh, and I need to eat. Oh yeah. So, what the heck was I talking about? Hmm. The life of someone with ADHD. Mm-hmm. All right, we're going to go look at this. So, as you know, iron golems spawn in my, my village here. I have lots of, lots and lots of guys and, are they girls? Om omnisexed. 
things. No, no, no! Stupid. Stay down there. Until they get tired of you opening and shutting all the freaking doors. Why? Why? Ah. Okay, so underneath is full of doors, and I have a uh, zombie here called Stinky. Named him Stinky. And then I have this pretty simple design here. Uh, is this pistons that are, what, five blocks up? One, two, three, four, five, yep. And uh, Stinky pistons, of course. And then at the second, at two blocks up, I have a string. And that's it. And then I have, um, yeah, hoppers underneath there. Pretty simple, don't you think, Stinky? So, um, yeah, iron golem spawns. Gets line of sight on this guy, runs over, crush. Now the only problem is it takes forever for them to get suffocation damage. They uh, they have a little bit of a resistance to it, I think, or something. Like um, like lavas. That, oh, there he is! Look, we're gonna see it happen. It's happening. Yes. And so, he's caught in the middle here, and he's still two blocks away, so he can't actually reach him to kill him. But you see he's like trapped in that block there, and that block is keeping him from coming towards me. And the other blocks keeping him from going over to the, to the zombie. But as you can see, it takes forever. Ah, oh, finally, jeez. But yeah, and then the hoppers gather the loot, and they all go into this one right here in the corner, and eventually I'll have um, maybe some more hoppers going over to there or something and depositing right into my my thingy. My deal. Oh, that's going to get annoying quick. Jerk, why'd you have to jump down there? It's like as soon as I open it up. Oh, let's go down the hole. I hope a zombie spawns. I really do. Really, really do. Uh, face? Let's see. Yeah, I guess we can talk about this. Um, so as you know, my mob farm underneath here is depending on these uh, rails working. And as of the last or the latest update, I was in 14W10C, uh, minecarts will trigger the uh, the strings, the trip the trip wires, which I don't like. One because it breaks my my mob farm. They broke my mob farm when they did that. Um, the other is that we already have a way to detect minecarts on a track, right? We have the detector rails. These detect mine carts. And they give a full signal. And I was hoping that these would only, you know, they would only give a full signal if there's a mob in the cart, but uh, that doesn't work with those. I believe a hopper mine cart when there's items in it, it will show up, but yeah, not with, not with these regular ones. Probably works with the, uh, any of the other ones that actually have a container, the chest minecarts or the other ones. 
but mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what do we got? Ch -ch -ch. All right, let's go in here again. Let's go over to my spider farm, my string machine. Um, I was here earlier, and you know, I noticed these guys, or I have these guys, right? They are right there. Right, so that's what? One, two, three. So that's like three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so they can go all the way out to here. Right. Um, so anywhere in the in this area, these guys will be spawning if the light level is low enough. Is basically what I'm getting at. And I dug out some stuff and I poked around. And if we come down here, I have another one. So I believe we're still in that range. Well, maybe not. So we would have to be. Man, get out of here. Made it worse. Made it worse. Ah. Take that. Okay. Oh man, I'm gonna break some wires, aren't I? Is there a way to get over here without breaking any wires? I really want to see. There's water. Let me do that just in case. Oh, okay. I think that's where. I think these are the stairs. Yes. So I could definitely build a dual one. Around. Ooh, iron. Take it. Still greedy for iron, baby. Um, but yeah, so I would have to drop. I think I would have to bring. Yeah, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Because they're right there. Oh, did I fill that? Okay, good. So they're right there. I would have to bring them, drop them to like this level here, or maybe even lower, and then build my room off over in this direction or that direction, and stay within the uh, sixteen block range. I don't know. That's really low. That might not work, actually, because um, of where I'd have to stand to make this work. It is really hard. I don't know if you guys have ever made one of these these uh, kind of mob farms. Hopefully, you've tried it out. But uh, it is really hard to get these guys to do what you want them to. Uh, I need a better way. You know what? Let's make a new way. There. I have a way. Um, but yeah, it's really hard to get these guys to do what you want them to do. This is about it. Like, they're going up two blocks. Um, I mean, going up is definitely a lot easier than making them go down. Um, 
so I don't know it's uh, it's definitely a possibility I'll have to do some more research on it but I will let you know and uh, let's see what else have I did up to that's pretty much it yeah so I think that's gonna end the episode I also want to get um, I want to get uh, a couple of doggies, and I want to bring them over. Did I already say this? End my skeleton farm. Did I already say I wanted to get doggies over here? I can't remember. And then about the, I want them to nip at their their heels. I'm going to explain it again if I have <laughs> okay right so uh, yeah I want to get some dogs over here and they'll attack their feet hopefully uh, but I'm not sure if the dogs need line of sight to their head to attack or if the skeletons need line of sight to the dog to run away to their head you know to the skeleton's head but uh, we will see uh, when I get around to doing that but uh, we're gonna end it so hope you enjoyed leave a like uh, hit that subscribe button uh, what else do all the, the fancy things ha have a good day have a nice night and we'll see you next time but until then I'm out of here <laughs>